Welcome to day one. I am so excited for this five day challenge. For some of you, you have known me for quite some time and for others, this is the very first time we've met. My name is Gretchen. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a multiple sclerosis specialist. And I help people with MS who want to get stronger, get more energy and live their life in a more active way than they're currently living. And I do that through my online MS wellness program, The Missing Link. Our goal of this five day challenge is that you will leave with strategies and tangible exercises that you can do right now to start improving your strength, your consistency with exercise, and overall make your day to day activities a little bit easier. So let's get started. What we're going to talk about today is one of the most important things of all when it comes to exercise and multiple sclerosis, and that is neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the ability of our brain to rewire itself and find new pathways so that we can actually get stronger. Neuroplasticity does not occur in all diseases. However, it does occur in MS and it is the reason that anyone with MS has the possibility of actually getting stronger, improving your balance, improving your energy, improving your walking. So neuroplasticity is the ability that your brain can rewire itself. Let's jump into that a little bit more. So let's say that if I want to lift my leg up like this, but I just can't do it. I have zero strength. I tell myself, Dr. Gretchen, lift your knee up and nothing happens. Then what that means is that this part of my brain maybe took this pathway down to get to my hip flexor to lift it up and that pathway didn't work. So attempt number two, Dr. Gretchen, lift it, lift it, lift it. Maybe my brain sends the pathway this way. Still nothing happened. I try on my 10th time. It goes this way. Every single time I attempt to lift my leg, whether there is movement or no movement at all, my brain is trying to find a different way to get from point A to point B. Our brains do not use the same pathway over and over again if it's not working. So if there's zero movement, then every time I'm trying to lift my leg, my brain is finding a different pathway. The idea with neuroplasticity is that over time, and for time, that might mean a week for some people. It might mean a couple months or a couple of years. We don't know yet how long it takes for neuroplasticity to kick in, but over time, your brain will find a pathway that works. So let's just say on my 200,000th try of lifting my leg, my brain sends the pathway this way and it worked. I lifted it just a little bit. And then every time from there on out that I practice this exercise, my brain is going to use the same pathway and it's going to start strengthening that pathway so that over more time, not only can I just barely lift it, but I can actually lift it higher and higher and higher. And I know for some people, this probably sounds too good to be true, but my question to you is, if you have a difficult time doing an exercise, maybe in standing or sitting, if you try to do a movement and it doesn't work, if it has zero movement, have you continued to practice it over and over and over again? Or are you the type of person that has the mindset of, well, it didn't move, guess I can't do that, what's the next thing I should try? Because with neuroplasticity, even if there's zero movement, you have to keep practicing because every time, every repetition you practice, your brain is trying to find a pathway that works. So if you have in the past said, my, leg's not, my leg isn't lifting, guess I can't do that one anymore, or guess, guess it's not working, guess I shouldn't practice that, then you're, you're not using neuroplasticity to your advantage because you're not, you, your brain hasn't tried to find a connection that works. So it requires repetitive practice. Now, let's say that you do have some strength. Let's use a different movement. Let's say bending my knee, which is required for walking as well as stair climbing and other things. Let's say I want to strengthen bending my knee and currently it does bend, but it's really heavy and hard and it hardly bends, hardly lifts off the ground. Then what that tells me is that your brain has a connection from point A to point B that's working 
it's just not very strong. And so we need to strengthen it. So if, if you're this type of person with some movements, then every repetition that you practice that exercise, your brain is going to use the connection that's there and it's going to keep sending it down that same pathway to strengthen that pathway. So it works in both ways. If there are some movements that you have zero movement in, then your brain through neuroplasticity finds a new pathway. But if you're someone who has some movement or maybe good movement, but it's hard with other exercises than with neuroplasticity, your brain strengthens the pathway that is already there. So neuroplasticity is the main reason that you actually can get stronger. The thing is, it takes repetition and consistency time and time again, day after day, month after month, year after year. And that can get discouraging because sometimes we don't notice progress right away. Sometimes we don't notice it for months and that can be hard to trust the process and keep going knowing that it's working, but it's what you have to do. The last thing that I want to mention today is your homework assignment, because this is what is really going to help you throughout the rest of this five day challenge. So your homework assignment is that I want you to write down up to five things that are challenging for you to do, because tomorrow we're going to jump into exercise and it's going to be extremely important that you have an idea in your mind of an activity that you want to focus on. So maybe that's walking, maybe it's stair climbing, maybe it's just transferring better from your wheelchair to a standing position or to assist more in transfers. Whatever your goals might be, jot them down. And then I want you to pick one. From that list of up to five, I want you to pick one that is your biggest goal right now and one that you want to focus on. And we're going to jump into which exercises you should do for that goal. If you understand the concept of neuroplasticity that we just reviewed, and you are ready to commit and to jump in to MS specific exercises, which is very different than regular orthopedic general strengthening exercise, then I want you to comment below, I commit. This five day challenge is meant to give you the tools and strategies that will help implement into your day to make you stronger and make your activities from day to day easier, but it requires commitment. So if you're here for it and you are ready, comment, I commit, and I'll see you tomorrow.